All right, welcome back to the BST Podcast. We are here with Mike Kennedy from Sherman County Speedway, driver and promoter. And and trust me, I know how that goes. Mike, how are you doing? I'm doing good, Joe. Thank you. Is the str- is the struggle real being a promoter and a driver? It is real. It's definitely real. You you you're just a little smarter than me and you keep your promotion and your racing separate a little more than I have, correct? Yeah, yeah, where I'm not allowed to run here, Goodland, where I promote, so. Yeah, well, and that's that's why I have my daughters doing what they're doing, and I've uh, actually got Rod Glenn picking up, so uh, I'm going to, whenever you see me with my racing suit on, essentially, I'm no longer a promoter, so make sure everybody understands that, all right? <laughs> yeah, there you go, that's the best best <laughs> policy to have. Yeah, yeah, I'm no longer in charge. I really never wanted to do that. I just kind of did this racing deal and started promoting because I, I wanted to actually get it to the next level and get racing going back, give it a shot in the arm. So, but at heart, I've always been a racer and that's kind of, you know, I went back to racing those stock cars a couple of years ago and I almost forgot what it was all about. And now I realize since I got back in the car that, uh, pretty much when you see me not racing anymore, I think I'll be done. <laughs> I understand this this promotion stuff is not what it's all cracked up to be no I, I'm, I'm sure you can vouch for that right yeah yeah there's uh sometimes the grass isn't always greener on the other side of the fence that's for sure yeah yeah but I, I'm glad you're doing what you're doing uh I can honestly tell you uh the changes that I've seen at Goodland uh are definitely positive uh, for a while there, uh, it seems like maybe they, you probably just they probably didn't have the support. I'm not dogging on anybody, uh, but they probably didn't have the support and the backing that maybe you guys do. But uh, you guys have definitely given it a shot in the arm, and Sherman County Speedway is kind of reminding me of the good old days when we would go there and we'd, we'd go to that Flatlander race at the end of the year religiously because that was kind of like the – um, that's how we ended our season, and uh, I, re- I remember going to those Flatlander races and seeing, what, 150 cars plus? Yeah, yeah, real easily. I mean, it's we're trying. I mean, it's definitely a team effort. I can't thank the, the board that I worked with, you know, enough. To, without them, this thing wouldn't be going like it is, so. Yeah, but you're doing an excellent job. Um, real, real quick, uh, the reality of today's times are different and crazier than I've ever seen. I'm, I'm sure they are for you as well. Uh, but with all this coronavirus and stuff going on, uh, a lot of people are scared about the racing season not happening at all or being delayed. But I think you're kind of like us at, at um, Holyoke and even El Paso. We're starting our season a little bit later. Um, I think it's helping all of us. You guys don't start till May 2nd and 3rd, but as of today, as we speak, because I know things change daily, unfortunately, but you guys are kind of like us and you're full steam ahead, ready to go with your season opener and nothing has changed, correct? Right. As of right this minute, I mean, we haven't been told otherwise by the county, but that could change, you know, in five minutes, but sure. As we're standing right now, we are planning, planning that and getting the ball rolling. Well, and I think the big thing is, is to get information out. I'm sure once again, like you and me, you're getting the calls, you're getting the messages, the Facebook messages, the emails, and everybody wants to know what's going on. I wish we could tell them more, but unfortunately, we're limited to the information they give us. So me personally with BST Promotions, we're just trying to keep people positive, keep people building their cars, working on their cars, don't sell their cars, and realize that the season will go forward, hopefully as planned. And uh, what's happening in the world right now is temporary, and it will get better. That, that's our take. How about, your, how about you guys? Yeah, I mean, that's that's where we're at right now. I mean, I know it's crazy and hectic out there because nobody knows what's going on. But, I mean, one thing's for certain, uh, the race season will be here. You know, even if it's a little later than normal, I think we're still going to go in circles sometime, somewhere. So, um, I mean, I just hope guys are putting their cars in the shop and getting them ready to go. And they're not selling them off because it'll be a sad day when we do get a race and they're sitting on the sidelines. Exactly. And And that's what we need to prevent. So, let's get this out there we'll get this video to you you share it and tell everybody and uh you know it won't be long the the other thing uh we'll talk about your season uh in full a little bit but the one thing i want to talk to you about which i'm excited about is this tri-state tour we have the second annual tri-state tour that consists of obviously three states kansas nebraska and colorado this year we're going to start it in may and end it in may 
you guys will actually be our season opener, which is your season opener, ironically, for your track, which is Saturday, May 2nd, and then we go Sunday to May 3rd. So you'll be the start of the of the uh, Tri-State, and then from there, we'll go to May 8th uh, to your neighbor uh, down the road in Colby, Thomas County. We're actually talking to Lincoln County. They just picked up a new promoter, so there's a good chance that we run a double header there, and uh, we'll do the 16th and 17th. We're at Dawson County for sure with Chad. I'm looking forward to going back to Lexington there. And then the season, our season opener at Phillips County is the season championship for the Tri-State. So that'll that'll be a, a kind of different. We'll be going to a race that has a season championship to be crowned as well as the season opener. So the Phillips County race, which once again is our season opener, May 29th and May 30th, will be the season championship for the Tri-State Tour. So basically the month of May is going to be all about the Tri-State Tour. And, and I hope, I'm hoping you can participate in that as much as you can. Obviously it doesn't sound like they're going to let you at Sherman County, but uh, on the personal side, are you going to be able to run most of that? Well, that's my plan. I mean, I, I don't want to run for points, you know, to attract, but doing something like that would be pretty fun. So have, have you ever thought of just during your race at Sherman County, why don't we put somebody in charge so you can actually run this whole tour? And if you, if you told somebody, you, you know, we could figure out, we could put Peyton in charge. We'll put Peyton in charge of the hobby race on May 2nd and 3rd so you can jump in and, and be part of this. I, I really wish you could do that, you and your brother. Right. Yeah, uh, my brother will be there for sure. Um, I don't know. It's it's. But you don't you don't want that. your bro you don't want your brother to beat you in this tri state tour, right? Well, um, he's actually he won't be in a hobby this year. He's actually moved up to a stock car. So. Oh hell no! Um, Are yeah, you I don't kidding me? So, n- so now I got to compete with your brother? Yeah, you got you got to watch out when you go uh, lapping him there. Oh yeah, I don't think so. I don't, so <laughs> what kind of car did he get? When I didn't know he was getting a stock car. Yep, yep. He moved up. Uh, we've got uh, him and myself actually bought Dirt Hustler chassis this winter, and uh, he's got a Dirt Hustler stock car that he's going to be running this year. Nice, nice. So, all right. Well, so you know, now your brother's not going to beat up on you. I think you probably did that intentionally. So that, that brotherly deal. I I, yeah. I see how that works. Trust me. A lot of times, running, getting the Gaylords going. Uh, Trip and Ryan, it, it's been funny watching them, you know. And then, and then even like my deal with uh, Peyton, you know, racing and racing, r- racing with your kids, it's a little bit different. I think the brother deal becomes more uh, intense. Uh, the I know the father daughter deal. I'll be, I'll admit for the first time ever, uh, I was watching my daughter race when I when I was racing with her, and there was a couple times, you know, I'm just watching. I'm like, good job, good job, and I'm like, wait a minute get up on the wheel and get around her and go race, do what you're supposed to do. But I caught myself watching her instead. And I think that's that father daughter deal to where if it was my brother or someone else, I'd be like wanting to kick your ass the second I seen you out there. <laughs> yep. Yep. No, I've raced many laps side by side with Kurt. And I mean, there's times that I've got into him and he's got into me, but at the end of the day, we're still brothers and that's how it is. I, I hope that he can do it in the stock car. Right. Well, that's good. That's good. Well, back to back to the deal. We got to figure out a way to get you to run your race at, at Sherman County. So let's figure out if we can do that. All right. Yeah, I'll visit with the board members, but I make no promises on uh, there. Well, so. Tell the board members to call me. Put, get me involved in one of those meetings. I'd be more than happy to explain the situation, but we got to make that happen. So let, let's get back to your schedule real quick before you got to go. Uh, 2020 Sherman County. We talked about the season opener, of course, uh, being the tri-state show and your season opener. Tell us about the rest of your season. Uh, we're going to kick off the the first weekend of June. Let me look up that date here. Sorry. Six, sixth and seventh. I got I got your schedule. I found it here. Yep. So you're yep. June sixth and seventh after your season opener. Yes, sir. We're going to run. We're going to run there, and then we will go come back uh, the 18th and 19th of July on that one. And then uh, we will come back August 8th and run, and 9th. We're going to have a – we've got the three sprints coming in on the 9th. So uh, August 8th, we're going to do kind of a little different format. Uh, we've been talking with the IMCA. Um, the Econos and the Sport Compacts will run a full night, or my other four classes are going to run uh, double heat races. And, but we're going to do the invert on the second heat race. 
draft and then uh, the top six and passing points there are going to run a, a five lap uh, pull dash on Sunday and that's going to set our A mains on Sunday for our uh, like our hobby stocks, stock cars, mods and sport mods along with the Rick Salem's 305s. Nice. Nice. So, and, and then uh, that'll that will finish us up the uh, the week after the next Saturday. We will come back and run our championship, and uh, that's all star Bill Gray. And then, like you mentioned, the end of September there we'll run our our two day Flatlander show. Now, your Flatlander show typically has not been a point event for your season, correct? So, right, your, your season championship will end in advance to that. Yes. Yep. And uh, this year we're going to change the format of Flatlanders. In the past, it's been it's been like a kind of like Hayes runs theirs. You know, Friday night you qualify, Saturday last chance in A's, and then they change it to two separate shows. And uh, the board wants to move it back to to go into the Friday night qualifier kind of deal. Making kind of like Hayes is running making one, it show. one big show. Kind of, yep. kind of more old school. It seems like a lot of things are going back old school. Um, yep. And uh, I, I like that because I'm kind of old school. In case you haven't figured that one out. <laughs> and yep. So uh, I'm looking forward to running. Actually, um, personally, on our end, uh, I'm not going to race personally as much. I'm going to get back more into this promotion, kind of like doing these podcasts, doing this stuff, because I definitely want to do some promotion. I think. Uh, uh, I think uh, we need another shot in the arm per se, so I'm really going to concentrate on that. I'm going to take a back seat to the personal racing, but I'm still going to race, as I mentioned. Uh, but that being said, we're not going to race at I-76 and or El Paso for sure for points. We'll run our cat tour. Uh, we'll run that tri-state tour, but when whenever we can, if everything, anything works out, like if we're at Holyoke on a Friday night, and you guys are racing on a Saturday, there's a real good chance you might see our team show up with about four cars or plus uh, coming from Holyoke to you guys, which is kind of why uh, we went back to Friday Night Lights with Holyoke uh, because I kind of looked at it that people could look at going to Holyoke as the starting point of the weekend. You can go there. And then Saturday, if you run local 76, you can head west. If you run Sherman County, you can obviously head, uh, what is that, southeast. Or if you want to run Nebraska, North Platte, you can run up there. So Phillips County is going to be the starting point, hopefully, for a lot of racing. But guys like me, I'm going to run, I'm going to run Phillips County, and I'm looking forward to loading up and heading your way. So you guys might see me a lot more this year. Somehow, some way, I'm going to get me some of that Kansas money. Yeah, come on down and get it. I will even, uh, I'll give you a big check for it. All right, all right. Well, <laughs> I'm definitely uh, looking forward to 2020, the Tri-State Tour, running with you guys. Uh, I want to appreciate uh, having you on. Thanks for doing that. We'll keep, uh, let's stay in tune uh, throughout the year. We'll probably be doing these podcasts more and more. And uh, what we can do is uh, kind of tell people that, you know, we'll brief them on what happened and kind of kind of get some interviews going with some of your local drivers as well stuff like that that's kind of what we're thinking on doing so you guys down for that yep sounds good joe all right thanks again for coming or being on Yep. thanks joe all right we'll talk to you soon yep bye